Onus Heels Numerology for 2-3-2024. 2-3-2024. The Passionate Manifester. Two and three. The Passionate Manifester. Two and three when you put them together, which is um, knowledge and creation by my number system or the High Priestess and the Empress. Once you put those two forces together, nothing can get in their way. And that that's real time function. Once you get two manifesting motherfuckers together, it ain't nothing to get them get in their way except for themselves and their programming. What are you manifesting? Are you manifesting something that's got you under manipulated? Or are you manifesting something that's gonna really work out for you? Those are real time questions. So the passionate manifester. It's not always a good thing, especially when your ego is running the show. When your ego is running the show, you can easily be um, misled and ran astray. Um, that's we see that every day. <laughs> we see that every day. So two three twenty twenty four. The passionate manifester, the person who is really ingrained into knowing that they need to do something. But where's the investment in energy? Are they passionate about the wrong shit? Are they passionate about something that is only another force of manipulation? Or are they passionate about getting to a level of stability and processing peace so that they can now start to understand wholeness? So what is the passionate manifester? <laughs> oh, it's that grand justifier. It is the illusion of separation. It is the illusion of separation because when you get, my perspective, righteousness, when you get so ingrained and thinking that you have something that you got to do and you start getting your ego and emotions tied into it, you start getting one side of you start getting hooked in to the ideology that something needs to be changed. Holy shit. You become the alchemist. A passionate manifester can become an alchemist. But again, if they're only alchemizing or transmuting or changing something that should not have been messed with it. It's a trick and a trap. 11, the illusion. 11, justification. I say this all the time. Whenever you use that word, but, prepare to make yourself an ass. If you use that word, but, throughout your, your day, when you start, you know, figuring out what's going on with you, that shit's back on you. So, getting into the numerology. 2, 3, 20, 24. I'm connected to the thought of manifesting. Basically, everything I said, if what I'm trying to manifest is only based off of my line of thinking, I could be screwed, especially if my line of thinking is already one of a mindset caught in subduction. You don't see yourself as enough and you're always reaching out to something more to give you probably what you already have. So if you're connected to the thought of manifest manifesting, but the whole thing is that thought wants you to keep on creating, where's your stillness? <laughs> 11 took you straight in the 12. That idea of separation is going to show you where you're going to get hung up. This is the hangman. You become a sacrifice. Keep standing in your righteousness, dumping y'all energy into everything that you keep on justifying out here. The ritual goes on. The hangman, the ritual. 12, the discipline. The disciples. Mithras, Jesus, Dionysus. Shit, who else? Lots of people. Hell, some of y'all, <laughs> nowadays, some of y'all got more than 12 disciples. But I'm not going to go there. It's just a lot of hurt people with more hurt people who keep gravitating to them. Because the only thing in common y'all have is y'all hurt. And that discipline keep on getting y'all sacrificed. So, 11, that shit you keep justifying, what you keep on manifesting. And basically, at the end of the day, what you manifest is what you pay attention to. This is deeper than, well, I'm going to focus on it and think I'm going to write a spell or I'm going to pray and write a petition or set up an altar. This is the meat of my day. What I pay attention to throughout the day is going to manifest because what I pay attention to throughout the day already has the majority of my energy. Before I trick myself into thinking that I'm going to become a creator. You've been creating all day. So I challenge you at this moment. What you been creating today? How much bullshit on your timeline did you actually invest in? How much bullshit out here on the news or just anywhere did you invest in? That's your manifestation field. Not, ooh, it's almost 8 o'clock, I'm going to go meditate. 30 minutes. You gave 30 minutes to yourself, but you gave 23 hours and 30 minutes to the bullshit. Which one do you think going to manifest? Shh. Strike that from the strike that from the records, Yana, because 
their righteous ego is going to always keep them righteously wrong. Oops. You don't know you're doing wrong when you're so used to doing wrong so much that doing wrong becomes right. You stay hung up. You can't get nowhere. You already the damn hamster on the wheel. So 2 3 20, 24 shows where, holy shit, you connect to the thought of manifesting, and the only thing you're doing is sacrificing your thoughts or sacrificing your energy to that thought. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 2 2 7. Trapped in the reflection of self awareness. But if all I know is pain, <laughs> you better hope Cyborg and Painbot somewhere around to help you sing the song. And I just posted a little while ago. All you know is pain. The average person in this realm. You motherfuckers will be alright if this hurts your feeling. The average person in this realm love their traumas more than they love themselves. You have found so much identity in what you went through that you think that what you went through is the determination for who you are. That's a bad mentality. At the end of the day, if what you went through is who you are, you might want to rethink that one. All you know is pain. Lemon juice and a paper cut. Pain. Pain. You your own abuser because the only thing moving you is what got you hung up and what got you hung up already made you a sacrifice. Why? Because you keep on justifying this shit. You keep justifying what took you apart, your traumas. And you keep sacrificing your chance to get into alignment for you because you can't get out of alignment to keep you out of alignment for yourself. So you keep aligning for what already got you hung up. And keep wondering why all oh, shit I keep manifesting is just more abuse. But I take that back because you won't take responsibility for the mass creation point. Because you need to learn how to create individually. You don't understand that this matrix, this realm is a compilation of accepted thoughts. The common denominator between what everybody agrees on, whether it's subconscious unconscious super ego unconscious all this other bullshit you like to lie to yourselves about what you keep on saying i agree with it, even just by watching it and telling yourself i disagree with it the fact that you paid attention to it is all the energy it needs what you pay attention to will manifest and if you're only paying attention to stuff that already is tied into abuse you manifested it so you the abuser why? Because you're trapped in that reflection of where your self-awareness was. Which brings us to the next line. 23, 20, and 24. 23, passion, the element of fire. 20, judgment. 24, the king of fire. What I'm passionate about, 23, is going to be the judge, 20, for how 24 gets created. I said all last year, I'll just read what I wrote. All last year, this clown kept saying that your 2023, which is supposed to be about self-awareness, it's going to be the determining factor for your 2024, the year of manifestation or the year of struggle. But you got to let your life tell your tale. If all you did was bitch, whine, and moan about how everything was so hard last year, but you never let it go, then your 2023 just transferred right on over to 2024. That shit going to keep on manifesting. If you thought you did work on yourself in 2023 by getting rid of your traumas and triggers, but not doing anything to absolve yourself, let them go from you within, you just let go of the people that was attached to, shit gonna manifest in 2024 because it's still in you. You need to change your value system. You need to change what you keep identifying with and how much of your energy you let it take. So 23, 2024, you gotta let your life tell your tale. The fires you keep creating will manifest. What you keep filling your mind with will become your God. G-O-D, what you keep generating will be what you operate through. And holy shit, it will destroy you. It will destroy you. If you are only producing more shit that is not designed to help you, you've only helped yourself in your destruction. But holy shit, three plus four, seven. Them thoughts that I keep on creating will become the field of motherfucking manifestation. Seven. Holy shit, what was 23? 2023? Seven. You better figure out what your seven is. All year long. Hell, really, since 2022, I've been telling you longer than that, but I got adamant about it and kept trying to share awareness and perspective. You have to make sure that your 2023 is about you and nobody else. 
You can keep lying to yourself about all this other bullshit and all your star roles and your soul roles and all this other shit. You had to get out of that Phoenix cycle bullshit. You had to quit trying to create from within things that only created separation. You have to start trying to stop yourself from creating within what already set you up for destruction. What already stole your identity, what already took your power, what already put you in separation, what already put you under limitations, what already governs you. You're supposed to be learning how to get your power out of that system and figure out what's going on within you instead of keep on getting back into alignment for the same shit. That's bad judgment. So next line, 31, bad judgment. 31, three, the thoughts show you all your potential. Why? Because the three, them thoughts already got all your magic. So same thing I just got through saying, if I'm going to what's already got me a separated and I'm asking them to give me my power back. Even if they did give it back to you, you ain't smart enough to know that that's a trick. Because you don't know your own divine design, you don't know the grandness of your own energy. You probably do that bullshit you see out here all the time. There's no way I could do this on my own. It's got to be a higher power doing it for me. You already sell yourself into that mentality that mentality that there's something greater than you, and holy shit, it's blasphemy to think otherwise. You're a willing slave. You don't know the divinity of yourself, so you holy shit, you keep on dividing yourself. 31, you keep on dividing yourself, pulling yourself apart, trying to find the greatest version of you while still operating like you less, <laughs> less than all kinds of things. I ain't gonna go there with you. Thoughts take your potential. And then they run you down fields of possibilities and probabilities to produce experiences using your energy by creating time. T-I-M-E. This is my energy. So things pull you apart and they give you options on what you can become and you invest your energy. And then, holy shit, it manifests. Even though it's just a thought. So 31, that shit pull you apart from the inside. But you stay connected to it. You stay connected to it. Remember, I just got through saying there's no way I could be great enough on my own. So there's got to be something greater. You've already holy shit. And that second that you told yourself that you're not enough, you created something greater, even if it's not there. Why? Because you don't have enough space to believe in yourself. You create something else. Doesn't mean it's there, though. You create something else for you to dump your energy into. But that don't mean that that bank account's open. 31, the converse of 31 is 13, death. Your potential is created in that act of giving your energy into creation. So you become death. Life becomes death and death becomes life. Sorry, y'all don't get that. 35 years later, y'all still out here crying about shit. Sorry. So the Kronos effect. The Kronos effect is my energy becomes time. This is my energy. I invest in something. And then... My energy become time and time causes things to eventually expire. Time has an expiration date. Time is a marker for experiences. Experience has a beginning and end. That's a linear thought process. So, <laughs> so once you hit the end the expiration point, you only end up grim reapering yourself based off of the consequences of the choices. So you give your energy, you create time, you allow time to authorize experiences, you run down the experiences, and when they hit the end, you have to make reconciliation for the experience or reconciliation for why you're not going to hold yourself together, which means you're going to, holy shit, go right back to 31. 13 becomes 31. I'm going to continue to pull myself apart. Why? Because I didn't do my math. 31, 3 plus 1, 4. 13, 1 plus 3, 4. I didn't realize that, holy shit, I was just trapped. Trapped inside of what? That thought that already told you, I'm going to pull you apart. So 13, you become death. You become death. You enslave yourself to who you think you are. That's a 27. I'm connected to who I think I am. But as I kept saying for this whole reading, you're not your traumas, basically. That's all this is saying is you're not your traumas. So stop thinking that you're going to find you in experiences that only show you abuse and further separation. They already shown you everything you need to see. You haven't found what you're looking for. So guess what's the one thing you need to start seeing? Yourself. If I keep looking for something that's greater than me to save me, but that motherfucker, those motherfuckers never showed up. At what point do you stop fucking yourself, mother? But you won't get that because you're too far deep in the enslavement. Why? Two plus seven, nine. 
you already gave up all your vibrations. You already gave up all your vibrations. You done opened a bank account and them motherfuckers closed for the weekend with your funds, your currency, your energy. So you enslaved to the process. What's the process? Give me your energy and I'll show you how to create. Well, goddamn. If you took my energy and created, couldn't I just do that shit for myself? No, you need a middleman. You need a genie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a deep one. I ain't gonna mess with you on that one. So you already in a process of enslavement, and then you learn that enslavement, and then you stand on it. You standing on business. You're right. It's big business keeping you pulled apart by teaching you how to not hold yourself together and get mad when you run into anything that speaks differently. Traumatize. You become your traumas. You fight for them. You fight for that four. That thirty one four. That thirteen four. You fight for the trap. Crabs in the motherfucking pot. You'll fight for the trap. The minute you see somebody getting out of the pot, you'll risk your life and limb to pull them back in because how dare you get free? I ain't figured out how to get free and yeah, I'm cooking, but I'd be damned if I cook by myself. Martyrdom. You'll take anything down and anybody down who does not fit the paradigm of thinking that you found safety in, even though you ain't never found safety within yourself. Make it make sense. So four, balance is a trap because every account open has rights to your currency, your energy. Sign away too much of their rights, <laughs> your energy, and then they control when and if you get free, let alone the opportunity to use your own energy. Everything I just got through saying. Because now that energy that you want from them is what's being used to contain you. Holy shit, one, three, death. My potential got fed into creation. Based off of a thought. So if my potential was a thought that formed creation. Damn. Whew. Six. The field of motherfucking. The field of love. The field of love. Basically in my number system. is the foundation for all the possibilities and probabilities. If I'm trapped within my thoughts. And I'm trying to find me and everything I think. If I try to find me in every thought that came from me, is not every thought that came from me a part of me, but a part of me is never greater than the whole. It's just filled with more holes. You dear rabbits keep jumping down them. <laughs> Rabbit holes are filled with poop. Some of y'all need to shut your mouth because you've been eating a lot of poop lately. But you have to let your life tell, tell on that one. So what you don't understand is that four from that 13 and that four from that damn 31, really it was a trick of the illusion of separation. It was a trick of the 11 because holy shit, you fed your four in both directions. You manifested the shit. 44, the master manifester, you manifested the shit. We collectively manifest the shit. What we pay attention to on the daily becomes the accepted reality within this illusion. Why do you think they work so hard to keep putting bullshit in front of us? Y'all smart, dumb motherfuckers sit there and say the same shit. Man, ever since December, they've been going hard. Everything. They keep putting up all these fucking distractions, all this nonsense, all these men arguing with men and women arguing with women and ain't nothing to help us and war and famine. Why are they going so hard? Because you're always guided by your fires. Your 23, your fires, will help manifest 24. Only if you only manifested what burnt you, when do you think it's going to change? For some of you, the answer is, it ain't got to change. I done got tough. I don't even care no more. Posting them stupid ass memes with the knives in the back. This shit don't even hurt no more. Okay, motherfucker, it might not hurt no more. But when your dumb ass going to stop staying on the damn battlefield? Taking knives to the back. When you going to become accountable for you and get yourself out of danger just because danger ain't so dangerous at all. Traumatized like a motherfucker. Y'all better wake the fuck up because this year is going to be so fucking deliciously fun. It ain't going to make sense. 2024, 2020, point four. <laughs> Oops.